Hello everyone, Raptrex here, and uh, today we're going to go over our solar arrays and the uh, power room I have up on the roof uh, that some people have been asking me about, so let's get started. Now, to make uh, some of the high voltage solar arrays I have up on the roof, you need quite a lot of uh, resources. Uh, today I'm going to go over how to make it all the way up to uh, medium voltage solar arrays, and I'll just show you the recipe for the high voltage solar arrays. So yeah, let's get started. Now, take into account that all these materials you will need to make one single medium voltage solar array. And uh, just to make one high voltage solar array, you need eight times the amount that I have here. Just, just to have a clue of uh, how many resources you will need to make uh, some high voltage solar arrays. So they're not cheap at all to make. And uh, and yeah, like coal dust is, doesn't have an e EMC value, so you have to macerate all the coal into coal dust uh, and so on. So there's quite a lot of materials that you need to make. Uh, those high voltage solar arrays, but for today I'm going to show you guys how to make uh, some medium voltage solar array. A medium so uh, voltage solar array, sorry. So actually first I want to make uh, some transformers. And uh, the basic one is the LV transformer, which just stands for low voltage transformer. Just put uh, wooden planks in the corners, uh, some copper in the middle, and uh, copper cable top and bottom. Now I'm going to make eight of these. I'm going to grab that so we can make uh, our solar uh, medium uh, low voltage solar arrays. But first, we want to make some regular solar panels. And to do that, just put a generator in the bottom, electronic circuits on the sides, coal dust. Now, I never remember how these go, but I guess we can uh, just invert it later. And there you go. So just three stacks of, e of glass and coal dust, just kind of inverted here on the top and uh, we just make a full stack of uh, solar panels. Now what the uh, LV transformers will do is we're going to make LV solar arrays and pretty much they will have the power of uh, each each block of the LV solar arrays will have the power of all eight solar panels. So it will save a lot of space and then in just in fewer words it's just uh, more efficient that way. Uh, here you go, low voltage solar arrays. Now we're going to make a medium voltage uh, transformer now and to do that first we need to make some uh, gold insulated cable grab that but we need the two times gold insulated cable so we need double the amount of rubber and you know two times insulated gold cable we need, uh, we need a few of those just gonna make as much as we can here take that down top and bottom grab that and a regular machine block with uh, the eight refined iron in the middle and uh, here we have it, medium voltage solar array, uh, transformer, sorry. B and we need this to make the medium voltage solar array. So we grab all the low voltage solar arrays and we put them around the medium voltage transformer. And there we have it, medium voltage solar array. Now to make the high voltage solar array, you'll need to do the same thing, but you need eight medium voltage solar arrays around the high voltage transformer, or HV transformer. So I'm gonna grab that. And uh, now what we need to do is to uh, have a place to store all this energy. And uh, there's also the bat box, which is the low end uh, storage device. And I'll show you real quick the, the recipe, but since I don't need it, I don't, I'll, I'll just show you guys the recipe real quick. I'll show the MFSU, which is the bigger one. And uh, yeah, just wooden planks, RAE batteries, and a copper cable on top. Now this holds very little. I forget exactly how much. But uh, you, you'll find that you quickly need to upgrade to MFE, especially if you want to work overnight when there's no solar uh, energy for you. So you want to store as much as you can so you can work off the MFE overnight. And uh, to do that, go over that real quick. First we need to make some energy crystals. Uh, just put a dime in the middle, redstone all around. And there you go. We only need four for the MFE, but uh, I, ha I need a few more for the MFSU, so that's why I made extra. So just put a regular machine block in the middle, uh, energy crystals, and then the two times insulated gold cable all around in the corners, and here we have it, MFE. Now this will hold, I believe, 600,000 EU, which uh, EU it stands for the, uh, uh, I guess it's energy units, and it's just pretty much the energy that powers all these machines. And uh, yeah, the more obviously it stands to reason that the more EU, the the more you can work from uh, without having the solar arrays working. I guess it just means that if it's under night and you have a lot of power uh, drain from your machines, you can work for longer. 
so the the next one from up from the MFE is the MFSU, which holds uh, quite a lot more. It's the MFE holds 600,000. MFSU will hold 10 million units of, of energy. So we want to make one of those now. And I'll, I'll explain the difference also in output from MFSU and MFE in a second. So what we need is an advanced machine block that we have shown before and uh, advanced circuits. But first we want to make some uh, Lapidron crystals. And to do that we need to uh, put energy crystal in the middle. I'll put all these on top here. On the project table. Put uh, electronic circuits top and bottom. And then lapis on the sides. We need six of those. There you go. And it gives us uh, Lapidron crystals. So I just quickly hit shift. Make all we, all we need. And we need to put these on the sides. Now to make the MFSU though, you need the MFE to uh, to be able to uh, upgrade, I guess. Yeah. Uh, and just take in mind that you need an elect uh, electronic electric wrench to be able to take one down. Otherwise, you you lose the block. And I'll show you guys that the recipe in a second to make an electric wrench. And I put advanced machine block in the bottom, and then advanced circuit on top here. MFSU. Now th what I'm, I was talking about previously here is the electric wrench. It's this one right here, electric wrench. And what you need is just regular wrench, electronic circuit, and an RE battery. Now this electric wrench has a, I'll show you mine here in a second. Where is it? Here you go. Has different modes. And you can do that, but I believe it's holding, here you go. No. See, I changed my key binds, and I just can't remember what they are now. So, well, let me check that real quick, actually, now because now I'm a little worried. I don't, I don't know if I, I lost the key bind here. Controls, inventory chat, boost key, mode switch key should be M, but it wasn't working. Toggle active, extra function, the CG, one of these has to be. Hmm. I wonder if it's a bug or not. I'll have to look that up later. But you want you want something called lossless mode, which will use a hell of a lot more energy from your electric wrench, but it uh, it pretty much guarantees that you pick up the block and you don't and you don't destroy it. But you will lose the energy that's stored on it. So you want to make sure that uh you either transfer the energy somewhere else or just, you know, uh, lose it, pretty much. And uh, here. Now, since last time I showed you guys here, the I've, ma I've made some changes. I've done some cable management to be able to walk around here without having to jump all over the place. Now, I'll explain you guys real quick. Now, those are up here are my high-voltage solar arrays. And uh, then you have the glass fiber cable coming down into the first MFSU. Here I have a second MFSU. Now they both should be, yep, yeah, they're charged, 10 million units of power. And they're they're connected. Now in this uh, texture pack, you notice that there's a red symbol here in the bottom. That's the output. Now I'm not sure about other texture pack or even the default, but pretty much what you have to remember is that the one side is the output, the other five sides of the cube are the inputs. That's where you can uh, charge the MFSU from. And the same thing for the MFE. For the transformer, though, is the other is the other way around. You have one side that is the input, and all the other sides are the outputs. And in my case, on, on this texture pack, you see the little yellow lightning bolt. That's the input, and this symbol is the the output where the um, the energy has already been transformed into. In this case, this is the medium voltage uh, transformer. So it's being transformed into medium voltage from high voltage, which is the the output here. Is it just 512 for high voltage? Uh, 128 will be medium voltage, which is what the MFE works on. And uh, what I have here is just pretty much an output here that goes into our energy link up here, uh, down here. I'm sorry, that works our cores. And then down there is uh, the charging bench, which can handle 128. Now, what I did here is then put an MFE here, which uh, is kind of like a buffer for energy. And it outputs 128 into our low voltage transformer, which uh, outputs at I believe it's 28 EU, which is what the machines can handle. And that shoots all the way back to where our machines are hooked up in the back 
where, which I mentioned before. And, uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. It's just a matter of uh, understanding which machines need high voltage, medium voltage, and, so, and low voltage. And, and the other way, which I did here, is just pretty much have a chain where you can pretty much output any voltage you want. Uh, from high voltage to MFSU to medium voltage transformer to low voltage. So, I mean, depending on any, ma any machine, you can just plug a cable to any of these machines, knowing which output they have, and just power it from there. Um, but yeah, I mean, this episode should have probably made it earlier, since uh, it's some of the basics in, the, in power and understanding how to power your machines. But I just kind of overlooked it, and some, uh, some people in the comments reminded me to make a, a tutorial on it. So yeah, just make sure that if you have any questions and maybe some of the stuff that I've overlooked, to uh, leave a comment down below, and uh, I'll try to uh, try my best to make the tutorial and uh, explain the best I can, uh, or just leave a question in the comments and I'll try to answer there. Uh, but yeah, if you like the video, remember to like and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.